is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money Up Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled action figure review on two new store-exclusive AEW Unrivaled figures. I went to my Target yesterday and did find this Darby Allen, the Target exclusive. They had two of them, so you guys know I snatched both of those up. They're doing the buy one, get one 50% off sale. Didn't work for me, Brad. I don't know. It didn't work for me. I didn't get anything on sale or anything and spent a ton of money, and I bought a bunch of Christmas presents and stuff like that, and it didn't work for me. So maybe you'll have better luck than me, but it did not work for me. And then over here on this side, this is actually my GameStop.com pre-order of Kenny Omega. And I was going to keep it mint on card, but I figured why not knock out the review and then I can always get one mint on card later on or something like that. But I'm very excited for this. The packaging on both of these figures is fantastic. I know we've seen the Sammy Guevara Target exclusive over here, but the Darby Allen does look really clean with the red. I mean, this red foil is insane. And then this packaging right here is just absolutely incredible, man. You have like this gold orangish foil going on here. You have the white border right here. Limited edition. You got an image of Kenny Omega right there in the middle. Kenny Omega as Akuma on the side. You have an image of the character from Street Fighter there. You got number three. An image shot of Kenny Omega. His signature. Unrivaled collection. And then you do have Fighter Fest down there if you guys remember that. Very cool indeed. AEW logo on the side. Unrivaled collection. And then you have a picture of Akuma here. And then Street Fighter on the front. Very sweet packaging man. This is a beautiful set. And we don't have the Young Bucks just yet, but we will be getting Matt and Nick Jackson at a later date, I guess. You guys saw he's number three. I guess Matt and Nick Jackson will be one and two. There's Kenny Omega, and then Darby Allen here is a front viewing shot of him. Looking very cool. We have had quite a number of Darby Allen figures, but this one looks to be pretty damn cool, man. You got Darby Allen on the side. Number 91, Darby Allen on the back. You get a shot of him there. His weird looking signature. Got his skateboard there. On the side, you got AEW. You got the red foil at the top because it is a Target exclusive, as you guys can see, only at Target. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging for these two exclusive figures, man. But I know they don't go hand in hand, but I figured why not knock them both out together? Should be a fun review, man. Let's crack them both out of their packaging, find out what Darby and Kitty Omega are all about, and see what we got. Alright guys, so here's Darby Allen and Kenny Omega out of their packaging. I'm liking what I'm seeing, you know, we ha we have basically two kind of repaint slash retools in these, especially Darby Allen, more of a repaint ra rather than anything else. And then Kenny Omega, we do get a few new things going on with it, a pretty cool crossover event that took place there with GameStop and the exclusive and all that. So again, Darby Allen is a Target exclusive if you guys are wanting that. And then Kenny Omega is a GameStop exclusive. So both of these do come to us from different exclusive retools. Taylors. So if that is something you guys are interested in, definitely go check it out. And also, yes, my rotating base is still shattered. And maybe I can get a new one for Christmas or maybe I'll order one. I don't, I don't know. We'll see about all that. I tried to like bust the rest of it and get the glass out of it so it'd be solid white. Didn't work out for me, so I'm just going to live with it right now. But anyways, man, let's dive into Kenny Omega's accessories and Kenny Omega. Then we'll take a closer look at Darby Allen's accessories and Darby Allen. All right, guys, so for Kenny Omega's accessories, it's just interchangeability. We got some hands. We got some heads. And starting off with the interchangeable heads, we do have the first new head sculpt right here. Both of these head sculpts are new. You got the man bun going back in the back in a red colorway right there. Now he is cosplaying as Akuma right here. And this is how Akuma's hair is. So if you guys were unaware, that's what, you know, that's how he wears his hairstyle. So Kenny Omega go ahead, went ahead and did that. I am not a big fan of this head sculpt. I guess it has a little bit of likeness to Kenny Omega, but I think I prefer the screaming expression. I just think we have better Kenny Omega head sculpts out there. But if it is an option, you know, I don't know if I'll be buying multiples of these. I do want my men on card set. I want my loose set, but as far as another Akuma head sculpt like this to display, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. You know, maybe if you shave down the hair and put a new hair piece on here, it may look better, but I don't know. I guess it's not terrible. It's just not my favorite. You do have a nice beard on there, blue eyes, you know, but I'm going to be honest, this one looks much better. I like the expression. He's angry. He's yelling like Jimmy Uso, and this just looks a whole lot better in my opinion. I like the red hair. I like the beard. Got the blue eyes right there. He's got squinty look. He's looking good. He's got a little bit of schmutz right there on his lip. But I like the head sculpts. I think they get the job done. And, you know, you can't really ask for much. I really like the sculpt, though. The sculpt is really nice, and I think it works out well. And it gets it gets the, I think, it, it, mission accomplished, if you know what I mean. As far as interchangeable hands, you get a pair of fisted hands, which we've seen for a long time now. You get a pair of the grapply slash mic holding hands that they like to give AEW figures. You get your typical shooter hand and off hand for Kenny Omega. I, I'm pretty sure every Kenny Omega has came with these so far. You have, like, the off hand pose, and then you have the shooter hand, which I always 
always love. So I'm, I'm always glad to get these hands with Kenny Omega, but we've seen these quite a bit now. And then the brand new hands that we get with this figure specifically is the Haruken slash Fireball hands for Akuma. Now, getting him into this pose is very tricky, and you really can't do it too, too well, to be honest with you. Like, you know, you're supposed to look like this. It's kind of like Kamehameha. You know, your typical beam hands or Fireball or Blast Effect hands. But I don't know. Like, I really like the pose. They have the wrist kind of sculpted in there, which I like because it gives you that nice, nice pose. Like, it's sculpted really well and everything. It's just really hard. You guys will see at the end of the video what he looks like in this pose. Like, you know, if you, like, have it straight, it does look weird because it's on there. But, you know, it's meant to be posed like this. I don't know. It's just kind of one of those hands. But I like it. You know, I'm glad they included it. It's just without butterfly joints, it's going to be really, really hard to get him into that pose. All right, guys, so getting into Kitty Omega, we already took a look at the head sculpt, but it does look good on the body right there. You know, the head to neck ratio looks good, as we always like to check out right here. Typical Kenny Omega torso. This is the same torso, arm, shoulders, wrist tape, everything that we've seen on his Unmatched Series 1 and his Unrivaled Series 4. But on the back, he does have the Akuma etching that is on the back of his gi, I do believe. So you got the red marking right there, which is nice. You know, it kind of looks like it's printed on there. It doesn't necessarily look painted painted on as it was in real life i'm pretty sure however not the biggest deal right there going down into the tights we've seen these tights i think three times now we got it in the unrivaled series one the unrivaled series one b and now we're getting it again right here which is just a repaint but he does have all his pink and white graphics now one thing i'm noticing is it looks a bit faded we are going to do a comparison but this was a lot brighter in real life i remember his his knee pads and everything like this was not this desaturated i think the saturation could be turned up but you do have the pink and white and black kick pads going on right there and this is one of my favorite Omega gears, but seeing it three times in figure form, I think we can finally retire this. You know, we don't need to see it anymore in AEW Unrivaled figure form. I just don't think it's necessary. Now, as far as articulation goes, Kenny Omega figures can pose around with the best of them. But as far as getting him in that Hadouken or Fireball style pose, it's going to be pretty difficult. Again, like, you know, you got to stretch out this arm and you got to, like, tweak this. And then you got to bring this here and, like, get him like this. So, like, I guess... I guess it just depends on your perspective, but it's not going to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like, look at that right there. It, I guess it's not bad. You know, you could tweak this and play around with that, but without butterfly joints being able to bring these hands together like that right there, you know, that's that's kind of where it is, but it's not terrible. You know, I guess if you played around with it and you're going for some photography or something like that, you could probably make it work. Or again, if you had the right angle on it and try to make it work, you probably could. It's just going to be a little bit annoying, but with butterfly joints, I feel like you could get it like that right there is not terrible. It's not horrific. It's just not perfection. You know, it's not perfect, but I like it. You know, it gets the job done, and I think if you were to maybe put this on the, well, I don't know, the Supreme Kitty Omega, the butterfly joints weren't the best, but anyways. So for your Kitty Omega figure comparisons, guys, here is the Series 1A on the left. You have the GameStop exclusive in the middle, and then you do have the Series 1B on the right. Now, this guy's had a, has more of a matte look, but all their tights are virtually the same. I thought this one was more saturated, but it looks like they have all the same exact deco. Now, I did forget that these had sculpted on belt crotches which is way better but I do believe these are just repaints which is probably why that didn't take place you know these are repainted from the series the unmatched series one and the unrivaled series four which is probably why that took place but I don't know kind of annoying but these legs feel better you guys can tell that two different companies or two different manufacturing factories or something like that made these figures differently like this is a much more quality product than these two over here so that is something to talk about and then for the rest of your Kenny Omega figure comparisons here's the unmatched series one the Unrivaled Series 4, the GameStop Exclusive, and the Supreme figure. Gotta, gotta love some Kitty Omega figures, man. I'm enjoying these, and I can't wait to get more. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to more of those and more releases and different things, but yeah, that's your Kenny Omega figures. Alright, guys, so for Darby Allen's accessories, a little bit more flash than Kenny Omega. You get a skateboard, you get a title belt, you get a couple pairs of interchangeable hands. Now, the championship is something we have seen multiple times, you know. We, we've actually gotten this championship so many damn times. I can't even remember all the different versions that we've gotten, but I just feel like we've gotten this title. I don't even, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many TNT championships. It's always kind of oversized. I feel like it needs to be downgraded. They haven't quite done that yet, so it is a bit oversized still, but here we are with another TNT title, which does look good. I just wish they downsize it maybe 20%. Outside of that, what would Darby Allen be without his signature skateboard? Now, this is cool. We do have the CM Punk graphic here with the half skull, half CM Punk. He's got the pink wheels on here. Got Relentless down there. Kind of hard to make up the, I guess it all says Relentless, but you got pink and and, you know, it's all scratched up from riding it, but whoever does these designs on his decks, very talented human being, but you got the trucks on there similar to a tech deck. It can roll, which is cool. 
you know, get a little shove it action in there. It's pretty cool. I, I like the trucks and I like the sculpts that it has going on. The grip tape does not have grip tape, but it is beat up and stuff like that. This would be the thrashed option when you were selecting your grip tape on Tony Hawk. And yeah, that's what we got. It's kind of flat looking, but you know, it looks like grip tape. You know, I think it gets the job done, but there is Darby Allen's skateboard. And outside of that, you do have your fisted hands with the tattoos right there. You got drug on there and then you have his free hand over here that does have the skeleton hand tattooed on there. And it even has his nail polish, which is nice. And then on these, you get the same thing, but it, uh, it does include all the nail polish, but it's the same thing. White hand tape, nail polish, tattoos, drug free, way to be. You guys get the deal. Alright guys, so getting into Darby Allen, some of the best figures that AEW and Jazzwares make together are the Darby Allen figures. They just feel so good in hand. It's kind of ridiculous how great they feel. You know, the ankles are a bit weak. That's probably the only con I'd say about Darby Allen figures, but we do have this new face paint going on. It's very similar to his Unmatched Series 1 figure. We'll do some comparisons Comparisons, of course, but his head sculpts are always virtually the same. Really like this face paint. You got his body paint going down right there. You have kind of the tree with the different branches and roots coming off of it. I don't like how it just ends right here. I wish that they could do that, but I guess because it is factory painted, it's hard to make that like trickle off or fade out. But this is my only gripe with the figure outside the ankles, which I did touch on. It's just this arm just looks weird, right? He's got his full sleeve tattoo and he doesn't have any of his other tattoos on there, which I don't know. I just don't like how the arm is like in this opaque grayish white looking color and then you have the stark contrast between that clear looking white or cloudy looking white and then the harsh bold white that's on his torso so that's kind of where it's messing me up because it's so like it's such a stark difference between the two but you do have the white wrist tape on there of course it just looks odd doesn't it i don't, I don't know like it's not bad it just looks weird or kind of odd how it's like the, sh the, the shades are different had the body paint been the same as this opaque looking color i I think it would look a lot better, but that's just me. Nothing's over till your underground tattoo. You got Relentless on the back of the neck right there. His necklace, of course. Black shorts, black leggings, or black tights, and then you do have his short black boots right there, but like I said, Darby Allen figures are some of the best that they make. Like, he just feels immaculate. Like, I could just pose this guy around all day. Like, he can just... But yeah, I, I love it. I, I love Darby Allen figures. I mean, it's hard to compete with these because they're so good. But yeah, I, you know, they, they get the job done. They just are really quality figures right here, man. And uh, I'm sure we'll get a Supreme down the line one day. But for now, this Darby Allen is fire. All right, guys, so for your Darby Allen figure comparisons, here is every single Darby Allen we've received loose except for the AEW Unrivaled Series 3 Chase that I do not have loose. You have the AEW Unrivaled Series 3, the Unmatched Series 1, the Unmatched Series 1 Chase. Chase, the current Target exclusive, the Ringside exclusive, Coffin Drop, and then the AEW Unrivaled 11. Unbelievable. All these figures are fantastic, though. They pose around fantastic. They feel great. They're all pretty much repaints, but I enjoy all of them in their own ways, and I'm looking forward to the next one, you know? I, I really would like to get some Darby Allens to freestyle paint some custom tires and paint jobs on. Just gotta find the freaking time, man. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled figure review on these two. Two new store exclusives. Again, Darby Allen is exclusive to Target and Kenny Omega is exclusive to GameStop if you guys are interested in either of these figures. I don't know if they're available online. I imagine they are, but I know Darby Allen, if he hit my area, he's probably everywhere. So go hit your targets up. I have not yet seen Kenny Omega at retail, but I don't go in GameStop that often. Usually I call ahead at GameStop because, you know, their selection isn't that big and, you know, you just ask them if they have AEW figures, ask them what their selection is. Most of the time they're going to tell you. So, you know, you, I've hit even I've even hit on like three or four chases doing that. So you can call, say, you can ask them specifically. You can say, hey, do you have any AEW figures? They say, oh, let me check. Is there a specific character you're looking for? You tell them and they will. They usually do it. They're, they're, they're pretty good about it. I do appreciate GameStop. I've had really pleasant experiences doing that. So maybe one of you guys can hit on doing that. You know, let me know down in the comment section below. But I like both of these figures. You know, being an AEW figure completionist, I'm going to be getting these anyway. But I do like that they made this Kenny Omega in figure form. I think it would have probably work better as a three pack with the Bucks and Kenny Omega and kind of retailing for like 70 bucks or something like that like $69.99 or $79.99 or something and including all three figures a bunch of accessories the cloth goods interchangeable heads I think that would have been cooler and it could have had all three characters with like the big white packaging and AEW and Rivaled but they went with three separate figures I just don't know how well the Bucks will sell on their own but I am looking forward to those figures and I like the Darby Allen you know I don't know how I feel about that left arm still it just kind of looks 
looks weird the way the plastic looks kind of cloudy and the way it looks it just doesn't look uh real i don't know it's just kind of odd looking you guys can let me know what you think but darby allen's figures are really poseable they always feel really good and nonetheless i enjoy both these characters i enjoy both these figures if you guys would like them go grab them and check them out but i'd like to know what you think about these figures down below i'm getting the hell out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down below so thankful for all of you hope you guys have a blessed day i'll see you guys next time you cross